In this video, I'm going to show you what HTML headings are, where to use them, why to use them, what they look like in a default HTML page. There are six different headings. We're going to cover all of them, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit subscribe then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. With that out of the way, let's learn about these HTML headings over in the screen capture. Let's check it out. On the left hand side, I have an HTML document that I saved as html-headings.html and it just contains the basic structure of an HTML page and inside the body is where we're going to put the heading tags. Now the heading tag is defined as a less than symbol an H and then a number one through six, a clo or a greater than symbol, and then you have your text that you want for the heading, and then you have the closing tag for that heading tag. So you can have an H1, two, three, four, five, and a six. I'll show you what happens when you go beyond six. Um, it actually doesn't do anything that you want it to do. The H1 through six are really the only options you have for headings. So let's save this page or save this file. And I've got it open in my browser over here. I'm gonna refresh the page. And here's how the headings change. Now by default, I have no styles applied, no CSS. By default, the browser renders these as HTML being, or, H, or H1, sorry, being the biggest. And then every heading tag is smaller after that. Now you can use CSS to change that. You can make the H6 tag the biggest tag or you can make each heading different colors or different fonts. You can do all kinds of things with, with, with CSS, but by default and in general on web pages, H1 is always the most prominent and then each heading becomes less prominent as you go higher and higher up to the number six. And that's really all there is to headings. Um, one important thing to note is that for SEO purposes, you should only have one H1 tag and that's due to older technology where older um, HTML4 web pages, they can't define more than one H1 tag and they, they can't handle that. Uh, but newer HTML5 pages, they can, and they, more, than H, more than one H1 is okay. But still, an H1 for a search engine is a very important heading and it, it tells the search engine what your page is about. So even with the newer technology, you still only want to have one H1 heading so that you clearly define what you want to rank for. But that's very off topic. Back to headings. I'm gonna add some more headings over here. I'm gonna add an H7, an H8, and an H9, and just to see what happens. And what we'll find is that nothing really happens. If the H7 was an actual heading tag, we'd expect it to be even smaller than the H6. But it just prints it out as regular text and the H8 doesn't exist and the H9 doesn't exist. They're all just regular text. And to prove to you that it's regular text, I'm gonna add a paragraph tag and save the file, refresh the page. You can see that the paragraph text is the exact same as these H7, H8, H9 tags. And the bottom line, again, just use H1 through six. And those are the heading tags you have available when you're creating HTML pages. And that's all there is to HTML headings. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can learn even more and get coding even better and faster. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.